Ah! Back at the Comet Observatory! This place kinda sucks, doesn't it? Wow, you... They saved your ass! You're not even gonna be grateful? Man! What's these freaking prankster comets? Why are the comets there just assholes? And why are you asking him for info again? We went over this last time. I forgot! You, you don't just forget. Oh, speaking of which, there's one in the uh, second dome. We're gonna go there. Welcome back, everybody, to Morrow's Place of Mark Galaxy. This is your host, MJ406. But before we go... Mr. Mario, check it out! I'm a mail toad! And I have a letter for you! Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. Oh, yes! P.S. I hope this gift will come in handy. Princess Peach included five one up mushrooms in her letter! Would you like them now? Yes, please! Oh, yeah! Aw, even when she's getting out, the princess is so, so thoughtful! Well, come see me the next time there's a mail delivery! Every time you start a new session, you get a pack of five lives because why not? We found a spell like the st Star Troop Starship. We'll use the stars for power stars. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew! And this brigade needs a bold leader. So I nominate, um, well, me! Under my command of the galaxies, we'll see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. <laughs> I like the lack of enthusiasm for some of the important words. That makes one of us. You don't like it? Then why do you don't 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 question the fourth wall? Don't question the fourth wall, Mario! Come on, man! Not cool! It's not cool to question the fourth wall. Anyway, let's go! Man! I said it's a big Deadpool fan! I'm a big fan of Deadpool, thanks for noticing. Anyway, yeah! As long as you beat the mission that the comet is based on, which yes, all the comets are based on particular missions, well. Almost all the time, the comet will come once you beat the missions related to. Not always, but almost every single time. So we have another speedy comet, so you know what that means. Speed run time! To the Pole Star Path speed run. So yep, we're doing the first mission of this galaxy again, but this time, well, yeah. We're gonna be doing it this way. In the horrors of it all. Yes. Hey, come to die! And just like last time, I'm gonna be running for my life. See, they didn't have these coins here when we did the mission the first time. They add stuff for you know to sometimes make it easier or make it harder, depending on what they feel like doing to you. It's nice they don't do the missions exactly verbatim when you do the speedy comet missions or another comet mission. We've only got to see the speedy comet so far. This is probably the uh, second most common one. Let me think. Well, I should say a number relating to ow, how many main stages there are, but I know which ones are the least frequent. I can say that much. Ha! Take that! Crystal light on the glass planet? Screw you! At least he doesn't try to stall for time through his fancy landing when he's on a time constraint. Thank goodness. Mario knows better than to waste our time. Damn right! People got shit to do, man! I gotta go on a job hunt! What? What are you on a job hunt for? Aren't you a plumber? Yeah, but I'm getting tired of this old shtick! What? Really? Yeah! I want to be an astronaut! And just like that, I want to end this conversation. Yeah, be careful when you uh, miss a pole star. You will go flying! Oh god! I thought it went to land on! Never seen that before! At least in that particular instance, but yeah. You gotta be careful where you uh, propel yourself, because you get stuck in between two poles. So to definitely watch out for. Seriously, where the hell is this captain? Oh my god, what a lazy bastard! Go already! Ow, my ears! Fine, I'll go! Seriously, that hurts everybody's ears! Oh yeah, I ignored this completely last time we went here, because I was in a conversation. But yeah, this is a weird one where the path is formed for easy walk across it. So you gotta be- Oh god, a little confident! God damn it, Wilhelm! Get out of my game! What? Don't worry about it. So when you fail a comet mission, unfortunately you gotta start the entire thing over. Unlike the main missions that have checkpoints, the comet ones do not. So, yeah. You have to make sure you're on point. 
Well, the first death I could, could have taken to stupidity. This one I have to take to freaking clumsiness. But hey, at least each death got to so show something off, so I'm not that upset. I mean, I'm upset that I died in this game at all. Either way, yeah. I have beaten this game without dying once. Although, well, a couple notes I have to say. One, it took a couple attempts to do. So I had to practice some things up. Second, oh man! While I do say this game is easy, like, easier than Super Mario 64, for example, there's a couple missions that I see, and I'm just like, oh god, not this one. There are some in this game that are quite hard. So yeah. While I might say it's easy, don't take it for granted. Well, I think it might be easier and more mainstream for, you know, non, you know, non-experienced video game players. Just like most Mario games, there's challenges for gaming experts alike. So yeah, this game has that too. We'll be going to that as the game picks up, which, uh, well, you won't be seeing by this episode, but the next one, maybe. Eh, actually, yes. If things go the way I'm expecting them to, then yes. Oh man, come on, do the, do the freaking side somersault. But anyway, yeah, this weird, uh, forge your own path thing, kind of, uh, <laughs> gotta be a little brave and just hope that, uh, the path forms for you. Although, you can kind of tell as you go forward. You can see the debris that's forming up. See, is, is there something beautiful about this? It's like, there's so much mystery out in this galaxy, yet, it's, you know, it's more of like, what's going to happen rather than, oh no, what do I do? It's just something to look forward to as you go through each galaxy. It's something that makes this game truly awesome. I love flying in space. I went to join NASA. Does your kingdom even have a NASA? Hey, I'm sure somewhere this universe has a NASA. Did, are you applying one of these galaxies as Earth? Hey, bitch, you don't know where I'm from. I guess not. And uh, we got a new galaxy. Oh, yeah, by the way. Oh, wow. Another comet showed up already. That was pretty quick. Any base spy, we're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? What are they fighting for? Oh, please don't start that shit. Okay, we have a new comet. However, let me do this. Remember how I said I was going to ignore these uh, Bowser galaxies? Well, due to finding out how every level unlocks, I'm doing them the moment they open up. And then I'll be going back to the main games. Kind of like Mario 64, how I did that. So let's go to Bowser's Star Reactor. Sorry if I'm not doing everything 100% in order, but you know what? I think I'm locking everything from the get-go is a little more important in regards to information. All right, so the Bowser Star Reactor, the fiery stronghold. That's right, we're taking care of Bowser now. Because why not? Don't worry, I won't be going to the last confrontation until I have pretty much everything I can get. But you know, we're not even close to the end of the game, so we may as well get it out of the way early. Welcome to the Galaxy of Hell! So what's going on here? I can feel a Grand Star nearby! This place is filled with all kinds of traps and tricks! Be careful! Okay! So just like the power stages of Mario 64! Well, prepare for platforming hell! You can see this game definitely took a lot of influences from Mario 64 and then improved on it, so... Yeah, it won't be so sunshiny and, you know just based on the main stages themselves as it is. Oh God, not the fire! As much as it is just, you know, knowing how to move around Mario. This is probably the first difficult stage of the game, obviously. Look, gravity here is out of, out of whack. Check out the arrows. Ah, out of whack gravity. This time region based. So it's gonna be a little weird. You gotta be careful with how you jump because if you do it the wrong way, well, you're dead. Isn't it too hard to figure out, but if you've been on other galaxies where there's gravity like this, which you've probably been to at least one by this point. Ow, my Toshi! Well then, yeah, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Thank goodness for all the lives. 
So I admit, for people that don't play video games a lot, this is probably actually like a bit of a trouble spot if I did. Assume. Are you trying to kill me? I thought about it. You sly bastard. I won't kill you, but I did think about it, just so you know. So many fire bars! Why are there stacks of weird fire bars? Well, whatever. They're shorter than the Mario 64 special. Oh god! Burn to the ground! Burn in hell! He can shoot out to meteorites? What the hell? I know it's a space team, but come on, that's a little overpowered. Hurry up and run! Don't let him crumble you down! Frick you! Frick you, Bowser! And now we face him one-on-one. -on -one. Mono y mono. Turtle and man! <laughs> you finally made it! Now what the hell are you doing here? I see a whole bunch of suns around you. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits! Whoa! You have your own gravity power? No! So it's our first battle with Bowser! Well, I don't like this as much as I like the Mario 64 battles. It's still good. This one's pretty basic, though, since the first time. Oh, my Tushi! My Tushi! What the hell are you complaining about? It's not that bad. Oh. Take that! Hey, I didn't know you could receive your spikes. I don't like knowing that bit of my vulnerability. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, burn. So, yeah, you get him to burn himself, and then... Hit him! Yes. No! Again, the weakness is on your own planet! Oh, now he's moving around, though. Found you! No! Here's a, when you learn to pull on your spikes like that... And not with the spike recessions! Just die already! And the fireballs won't do much, thankfully. They go around for a bit, but they don't last long. You got your own bit of health and star bits around if you need it, so feel free to use them. No! And like I said, three's the magic number. Let's hit him once, twice, and he's super fast, thrice! Down he goes! You ruined my gravity power! Damn it! Ho ho! That was easy! Man, it's like punching a child. Whoa! What? How did you. I mean, um, <clears throat> never mind. Foolish Mario! My plan is too far along now! You really think you can stop me? <laughs> Teleport! Oh, come on! You coward! Fight me like a real turtle! But we've only delayed his plans. But that's enough to earn ourselves a grand star. Due to needing to. F in order for me to even know how many stars there is to unlock each level. Well, I'm gonna go after all the grand stars as soon as I can. Everything else will be going in order. So there you go. God damn it, what have I told you? I like to be in an orderly fashion. I thought I was the one that said that. It's the same thing, isn't it? No! It, never mind. Anyway, there we go. We throw the grand star in the friggin' green ball of whatever the hell that is. And at that, another part of the Space Observatory, the Comet Observatory, whatever it's called. Wow. It is powered, and we have access to another area. Sweet. The party stronghold is no more. It's cooled out. Cooled out? Yeah. Anyway, there we go. We now have access to a new area. Oh, yeah. If you don't go to a Comet mission, chances are it will run away. So, yeah, you should probably go to them when you have the opportunity. You rescued another Grand Star, and power has returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm. But I still don't think we have the star power. We need to fly the observatory through the universe. You don't think? Or you don't know? The villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from here to the center of the universe. I know you told me that already. Once our star power is restored, the observatory will be able to go there and then you can reunite with your special one. Geez, someone sounds jealous. What the hell is that all about? Eh, I won't complain. Ah, uh, Mail Toad moves up here. So yeah, 16 stars will unlock that location. I'm not gonna go there though and unlock them by hand. 
I will go there after I feel like I did everything I could to unlock the Bowser stage, though, because I, I want to know for myself how much it takes to unlock everything. I'll make a checklist of the stars that, when I was told something was unlocked. I know certain missions unlock the uh, Hungry Luma missions out here, but we'll go over those later. Anyway, it's time to go to the Space Junk Galaxy. Let's go back and get that last star, shall we? Although, I have something a little more interesting to go over for this one. But first, let's go to Teratox's Tangled Web. Or will we? Yeah, we will. <laughs> Tarantox, it's uh, all oh, the spider race, of course. That would be what it is. Alright, let's go. Yes. Screw, screw the World Wide Web. This is the intergalactic web. Oh, God. Web jokes. But I'm going to try to collect all the star bits I can now, because I'm going to need them. Ow! Damn, I thought spiders had a bark worse in their bite. That's dogs, genius. What's a dog? Poochie. That was a dog? Oh, God. Why, why am I surprised? Whatever. Anyway, let's go down here. Ah, you can see a launch star from here already. It's already prepared for some reason. There's the Hungry Luma. However, I'm pretty sure I need more star bits than what I have. So yeah, how many do you need? 50. Goodbye! Wait, come back and feed me! No, I don't even have the proper food for you. See? We have to feed this guy. But notice, he's there to possibly lead us to something new. While there's already a launch star activated. Makes you wonder. Now die! I'll collect a few extra just to be nice. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ah! Time to show you why I'm trying to do this right now. I mean, it should be obvious. I don't know what way I'm going! Come on, man. It's not rocket science. See, right there. Oh! Oh, out here! For God's sake. Alright, now let's feed you. I could have fed you what I had, but eh. I prefer to do it all at once. Go ahead, God. Feed him up! There we go! Transformer! Ow! And with that. Oh, hey! Your new player was born. It's a Yoshi head made of wood. That's the closest we're gonna get to a Yoshi cameo in this game. Yeah, sadly, that's the truth. Come here, Goombas! Damn it! Damn it! How are you comboing this thing? It's just a Yoshi head filled with Goombas. And for some reason, they give you a combo counter. I don't know what happens when you max out or get, like, all of them at once. Huh! Good luck trying to get all of them without freaking hitting the ground. The way they're spaced out, it's like impossible to do that. Oh god, I better be careful. I could die. Whoa! That was dangerous. His head is shaped like an ass! I think you just mean to call Yoshi an asshole. Is that simpler? Yeah, fine, whatever. Bitch. See, I say the combo doesn't matter because, uh, well, it doesn't. Because as soon as you kill them all, you get the star anyway. I don't know if you get lives or star bits for getting a really good combo, but, eh. I, don't I wouldn't really care to think about it. Eh, it's probably a reference to Super Mario Brothers and their jumping for live stuff. That's my guess, but whatever. Needless to say, we got the star. Weird. That doesn't seem anything to deal with a spider web, did it? Well, guess what? It was Yoshi's unexpected appearance! That's right! Rosalie, the library's open. Now you can read the storybook. Oh no! Not reading! You've got to be kidding me! We'll deal with that later. That's something we'll deal with towards the end of the game. Anyway, notice there's a star after that comment. Every main stage of the game has a secret star. 
Kind of similar to uh, how Mario Sunshine had two in every level. Where you'd have to do the eight main missions, there'd be the coin star, and there'd be two secret level, two secret stars, either back in special stages or somewhere out in the open. That's basically kind of like what this is. There's an alternate path somewhere one of the missions in each main galaxy. Find it and get that bonus star for yourself. Each one also has a comet star for you, so there you go. Okay, I could go the path to get this star, get the launch star here, but you notice I can interact with it pretty well right here. So if I spin it just the right spot, you can just crash right through like an asshole! Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Proximity's a big deal when you're dealing with space. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Phrase it like that, why don't you? Make you feel uncomfortable. What? Yeah, never mind. Get away from me! Ow! I said get away from me! Oh, God, my least favorite mechanic of the game, just like a lot of people. Help, I'm stuck! Aim your star at me and press A to pull me out. Bye! No! Oh, he landed safely. What the hell? So, yeah, you're dealing with freaking slingshot mechanics. Ha 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 ha! Or as they're calling this game, sling pods. Pull back and fire and hope to God you hit the planet. This is by far the game's most annoying mechanic. Remember how I said, oh god. Don't worry, it doesn't doom you to an empty existence, though. Ow! Any landing doesn't hurt me in space. What are you doing, man? If you miss, well, as long as you're on a big planet, it's not really a big threat to you at all, so. Don't worry, you're not endangered. Thank goodness the game gives you a camera angle that's fitting to get you where you need to go. It's like they knew. <laughs> it's like they knew this mechanic sucked. Here I come, you weird pod! Ho ho! Damn! Oh, Toad! Oh, Jesus! That was violent! Ow! Eek! Mario, what is this thing? It looks like a giant web of... Web! A lot of webs! So, we may as well tackle it head on. Hello, mini-boss! Terran Tox, a freaking giant spider that shoots out toxic at you. It spits it. Hit its, hit its sides, you'll stun it for a bit. However, what you really want to aim for is its backside. That flips it over, reveal its weak spots. Let's nail them with the sling pod. It's a pretty easy boss, but with the, the mechanic alone makes this annoying. As long as you know how to aim, you've got this, though. Phase two. Same thing. How long can you repair, repair those wounds? Ow! Toxic spit is horrible. Die! Can't believe I hit that, but all right. I'll take it for what it is. Careful, you don't hit it quick enough. Eventually it'll flip itself back over. So make sure you nail it right the first time if you don't want to deal with its freaking toxic bullcrap again. All right, that one only has two hits. Usually the bosses just go in phases of two or three. But yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Oh, good. Let's get out of this sticky mess. Oh, God. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. No. That was horrible. Oh, there we go. Well, just like that. That's another star and a planet taken care of. We got it in the Space Junk Galaxy. Also, I think I forgot to check for the uh, comet. I discovered a new galaxy. Ah, uh, no comet. Ooh, but a hungry Luma showed up. Ooh. I know how to be able to do that one comet I wanted to do. But we'll worry about that next time. So come back then and we'll, uh, well, we'll go to the hungry Luma, deal with him, and then go to that comet, and then finish off this dome if possible. And, uh, well, I would hope that'd be sooner rather than later. Because this game will probably be a little long, despite what I originally thought. I don't know how I didn't think that, but, eh, you'll see as it comes.